Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Android News Byte. Last week, I talked about how Google is taking this battery firmware update for the Pixel 4a to the next level by removing all of the older releases from its website. And while we have yet to hear anything of any substance from Google themselves, a new report does give us a glimpse about the changes that have gone into this over-the-air update, while also talking about a way for Google to force this update to all devices. For those who may be out of the loop, Google launched the Pixel 4a battery performance program in early January by telling owners of the smartphone that a new automatic update would reduce the runtime and charging performance of impacted devices. Anyone who owns one of these devices could choose between three different appeasement options, including a free battery replacement directly from Google, a $50 payment, or a $100 Google Store credit that can be used for a new Pixel smartphone. There were not any safety or hazard issues mentioned in this announcement, nor has there been one added to the support document either. But this is not a normal move from Google, and many within the Android community have suspected that the hardware they'd paid for now has some added chance of blowing up or catching fire. For those who have been affected, this new over-the-air update is said to have decreased the phone's battery life to around one to two hours of use, while also decreasing the speed in which the battery is able to accept the charge. So, a new over-the-air update has effectively broken a phone that many people have been using for close to five years now. A phone that, to many who currently own it, has never experienced any signs of an issue until that over-the-air update was installed. And to top it all off, Google has removed all of the old firmware files from its website, preventing people from downgrading to an older update in an attempt to avoid this new change. While Google has not officially mentioned why the update was released or why they're going through these links, it has left people curious as to what is actually going on here. This news was brought to the attention of Hector Martin, who you may be familiar with from the Asahi Linux distro along with the open source drivers for Microsoft Connect and other impressive achievements. This person took time out of their day to look through the kernel binary in an attempt to see if they were able to figure out what is going on here. And while they have not found any concrete answers yet, they do have some guesses thanks to the changes that they were able to find. For example, during their investigation, Hector Martin was able to learn that the kernel was built on the personal machine of a Google engineer, instead of the proper build system that we're used to seeing. This update does not come with any source code either, which is normally considered a requirement of Linux kernel builds although some have said that this may only be required upon request due to the GNU general public license. They were also able to learn that after this update has been installed, the max charge voltage is being changed from 4.44 volts down to 3.95 volts. So after this update has been installed, Pixel 4a devices are no longer able to be charged anywhere near its former potential. It has also been discovered that there are now two main battery profiles, one designated as ATL and the other 
with an LSN marker. It has been suggested that these are related to Amperex Technology Limited and Lycian battery manufacturers. Anyone with a Pixel 4a that has the LSN tagged battery is now assigned to a debug profile, which has resulted in the battery capacity changing from 3,080 milliamp hours down to 1,539 milliamp hours. On top of all this, many people have run into issues trying to follow Google's guidance and choosing one of those appeasement offers. For example, if you opt for the one-time $50 payment, then you'll have to sign up with a third-party company named Payoneer. And to do that, you must then give this third-party company your name, address, birth date, social security number, and checking account details. Not only that, but they will also charge you $30 per year if you do not meet their financial minimums. And most people who are involved in this issue will certainly not meet that requirement. So it's then on to you to cancel your account before receiving that yearly charge. Next, if you have opted for the $100 credit, then it's important to note that you will only be able to use it on a Pixel smartphone something that many current Pixel 4a owners are trying to avoid since they just had their hardware ruined by Google. And you can only use this discount on devices that are not otherwise on sale. Then, we've seen some who have opted for the free battery replacement only to be met with a $200 bill because there had been some damage detected on the shell of the phone itself. as I mentioned in the previous Android News Byte about this topic. It's clear to many of us within the community that there is some technical reason as to why Google has done what they've done here. Yet they are still dragging their feet when it comes to announcing what the actual issue is. Some have speculated that this is due to some faulty cells within some of the batteries that are being used for this device. And we have learned those who own replacement batteries may also have faulty cells on hand as well. We're even seeing multiple people speaking to support from Google who have said that a future over the air update to the Pixel 4a could end up forcing a factory data reset. So people are left wondering why Google has chosen to attempt a resolution like this instead of your traditional recall, especially if there is some kind of danger to using a phone with one of these bad batteries. Honestly, it has really disappointed me to see Google going down this path. But I'm curious to hear what you think about this move down in the comment section below. And please, do not forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android news like this.